What's up, everybody? It's your man, KJ the Great, dropping another edition of All Sports Media TV. But first, I want to say, I hope and pray everything is great your way. Now, we about to talk about it. All right, you guys. So, we got a fight that is brewing on our hands, and the date is for April 20th. I think some of you know what I'm talking about. And that fight is between the current WBC junior welterweight champion, former undisputed lightweight champion, Devin the Dream Haney, who is 31 wins, no losses, no draw, 15 wins by way of knockout. And the former lightweight, now titleweight, um, excuse me, junior welterweight title contender, excuse me, Ryan King Rye. Ryan Garcia, who is 24 wins, one loss, no draw, 20 wins by way of knockout. So, this fight was talked about for a while, but it, it seemed like they were in negotiations at one point, and then negotiations halted. Don't know which side pulled out, this side, that side. I'll leave that up in the air. But nonetheless, they stopped at one point. And then Ryan Garcia went into negotiations with the current WBA champion, Roly Rolando, Rolando Roly Romero. And that right there would have been an interesting fight because they both would have lost to a common opponent. Javante Tank Davis both have been stopped by him. But, um... Nonetheless, those negotiations stopped as it was potentially Roly Romero was going to have to go into a rematch with Ishmael Baruso, but that didn't happen. And then somehow the fight deal got made that he's going to take on Isak Pitbull Cruz March 30th on the undercard of Tim Zoo versus Keith Thurman. Now, Ryan Garcia was left without opponent and he went back into negotiations with Devin Haney. As he got back into negotiations with Devin Haney, a lot of a lot of rumors started swirling about the date, and they settled on April twentieth. Now Ryan Garcia's twenty four wins, one loss, no draw, with uh, twenty wins by way of knockout. He was last in the ring against Oscar Duarte in uh, December. It wasn't his best showing, but it was a good showing. Uh, he fought well, and he was in the process of trying to adjust to a new trainer and learn his new trainer and the things that his new trainer was asking for him. His trainer is a uh, two-time trainer of the year, Derek James, who's also the trainer of Earl Spence Jr., former junior welterweight, unified junior uh, unified welterweight uh, champion, and former junior middleweight undisputed champion, Jamel Charlo. He's also the former trainer of former two-time unified heavyweight champion Anthony A.J. Joshua. Now, in that fight with Oscar Duarte, uh, Ryan Garcia, he went to the shoulder roll at some point and was doing the shoulder roll. And you can hear Derek James in the corner pleading with him, get out of the shoulder roll. Don't do the shoulder roll. You're not Floyd Mayweather. Stop doing the shoulder roll. Excuse me. So when he stopped doing the shoulder roll, he told him, use your legs, use your feet, use the jab. He used the jab. He did all of that, and he ultimately used that and got the stoppage over Oscar Duarte. Now, Devin Haney, excuse me, Devin Haney, in his last seven fights, he's fought them but world champions or former world champions. Yuri Okis Gamboa, Joseph Jojo Diaz, Jorge Linares, George Kambosis twice, Vasily Lomachenko. After he did all of that, became undisputed, he moved up to junior welterweight and fought the WBC two-time WBC Junior welterweight champion Regis Ruger, the Ruger Ruger Progre. He dropped Regis, Regis Progre early in that fight and ultimately fought to a unanimous decision. Devin Haney, 31 wins, no losses, no draw, with 15 wins by way of knockout. You can see the skill set there. Now, with this fight between Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia, I honestly thought this was a fight. I think this is a fight that Dev, um, Ryan Garcia shouldn't have taken at this time. Only at this time, you guys know that Ryan Garcia has never been a world champion and he's never fought for a world title. He was dropped 
um, twice by Javante Tank Davis, but um, in the 